Hello everyone, Crydax here and welcome to channel update number six. I'm really excited about this one. We've got some great news today and there's a lot of fun stuff coming down the pipeline. So the first thing I wanna mention is actually the last thing we'll talk about, which is the Factorio Space Age plan because it's coming out on October 21st for the public, but I have the uh, media access, uh, beta access, so I will be able to start playing and releasing content for it on the 14th. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but that's really exciting. Uh, but first I wanna talk about how full-time content creation has continued to go. I wanna talk about the uh, craziness that has happened for the channel lately on YouTube, which has been really cool. I wanna do some Patreon shout outs and then talk a little bit about the video formats for Satisfactory and then Factorio. So how has it been going? Well, I've continued to have fun and we defined full-time content creation success largely based on does it feel like my hobby's turned into a job or does it feel like I get to do my hobby for work? And it still is the latter. I'm still really enjoying it. It's still been a blast. So that's great news. It's purposeful, but it's not overwhelming because I'm able to, you know, not go too crazy with the hours I'm putting in. But I have put in a lot of hours with Satisfactory and making the blueprint videos and such. Like I am, you know, basically full time work. Like I'm not just doing a few hours a day or something. And you guys can even look at the number of hours I streamed for Satisfactory. It was almost averaging, I think, a total of like four or five hours a day since the game came out in terms of gameplay. I didn't stream every minute of it, but I streamed most of that. So definitely been purposeful and awesome. Uh, and really, I've just appreciated how much you guys have been encouraging and interacting with the process. It's been awesome. And to that note, um, just about a week and a half ago, the Blueprint series for Satisfactory exploded, uh, more so than any content I've ever made in the history of the channel. Uh, the algorithm grabbed it and it wouldn't let go and it just kept serving people the videos and people kept clicking it and all of a sudden my view counts were higher than I'd ever seen. I think we're at like 70,000 views for the Smelters video, which is number one of all time for me. And it's only been out for like 10 or 11 days or whatever. So that's been really exciting. Um, I, You can see here a graph, let me get out of the way, of the subscribers. You know, it was basically a flat line before this happened. Like that's how you know something big is going on is when your previous growth, and it was growing before, ha now looks like a flat line. So that's been really exciting, uh, awesome stuff. And yeah, I'm not just celebrating that we hit 6K subs, not just celebrating that we hit 7K subs, but we're celebrating 8K subs since last month. Uh, it's so awesome. So welcome all of you who are new subs. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Um, it's It's been really awesome to see the growth and all the encouraging comments too. It, you know, people seem to have really appreciated those videos. They're not just, you know, there for no reason. So it, it's been encouraging to have what have felt like some successful videos that in some ways it's like, yeah, it's deserved success. Like people actually like this content. It's not just drivel that happens to get a lot of clicks. So that I've I've felt good about that success. It hasn't felt like a fluke, so to say. It definitely is. It, it certainly requires luck uh, to anyone who is aspiring to be a content creator. I will say there is some amount of the job that is luck uh, because the algorithm has to grab your video and serve it to people and sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't and there's no real easy way to know. Uh, you can make great quality content and still not get a lot of views. It certainly happens all the time. So, so I don't think that this success is purely because of skill. It certainly has a large element of luck attached to it, but it's been awesome. Uh, it also, I wanna mention that like financially, that's what's necessary for full-time content creation to continue is that those numbers of views and subscribers and engagement and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, it really exploded for like three or four days and it's kind of slowed down a bit, but it still is maintaining itself at a higher rate in terms of views and such than it was before the explosion. So what I'm hoping is that there's a larger kind of core audience. And that's what I call the members who are gonna keep coming back to watch videos, people who are gonna leave a comment on YouTube once in a while, maybe join the Discord, maybe hang out on Twitch when I'm streaming, you know, more of those viewers. Whereas some people are just people who clicked once on the video and they're never gonna click on any of my videos again, right? And so a lot of those views I'm getting are kind of one-time views. But I also know that some percentage of them are creating a new core audience, and I'm excited that that's growing as well. And we'll see kind of when I switch over to Factorio, how much of the core audience is kind of still there. As I say here, I'm eager to see how many kind of remain because everybody was there for satisfactory blueprint videos in this new explosion. So it'll be interesting to see how many people kind of 
jump over with the transition to Factorio. I also know there's a lot of dormant audience that I have who you guys, you know, maybe you're watching this, maybe you're not, but there's a lot of Crydax viewers out there who really like the Factorio content and they haven't really been watching as I've been off Factorio for a while. And so there's a lot of people that I think will actually come back on the ship when we switch back to Factorio. So I'm, I'm interested to see kind of what's going to happen with all of that. Um, and yeah, I want to do some more Patreon shout outs. Thank you to all of the new patrons since last month. You guys are awesome. Again, I can't thank you enough for your support. It means so much. Blind Angus, Old Gamer Scott, which it is your birthday month. Happy birthday this month of October. And also Edison EF, it's your birthday month. So happy birthday to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and feel celebrated by those around you. And yeah, for those of you who are on the fence about Patreon, um, you can just head over to patreon.com slash Crydax and check out the benefits. It starts as low as $2 a month and there's a channel planning team, you get special colors in Discord, and there's some other various perks. I don't go too high on my deliverables for perks because honestly, I don't have the, the life energy to just be constantly doing 5,000 things with Patreon perks. And so, you know, you have to decide, is that worth it for you? Uh, you know, each person should decide, are, are my subscriptions, are my Patreon things, are they all worth it? And that's totally up to you. So I just invite you to go check it out if it's something that might interest you. And now I want to talk about the format for Satisfactory. It was a Satisfactory format. It was a little um, painful for me in terms of the logistics to always be streaming to Twitch and to YouTube Live. However, I think it was the right choice. It seems like that's continued to be a good base for viewership. I was getting quite a few viewers on YouTube Live that I don't think I would be getting on Twitch. I think some of them would transfer to Twitch. Like, let's say I was getting 30 viewers on YouTube Live at a given moment. I think maybe five of them would be on Twitch if I wasn't streaming on YouTube at all, but probably only about five of them. That's just a random guess, but I've heard other people talk about it, and I don't think if I were to only stream on Twitch that I would get the same total numbers. And as we've talked about before, it has the benefit of the VODs already being available on YouTube. So people who want to watch the live stream format, and some people do, have access to that forever. And I don't have to do weird, like converting Twitch to YouTube stuff, which is really nice. And the only weirdness is that it's bifurcating the YouTube audience a little bit because now people on YouTube only can still be a part of the live stream, but then that means they may not watch the Let's Play recordings. You know, episode one, two, three, four, five, each about 40 minutes to an hour. Some people are not watching those because they were there either watching the five hour VOD for the live stream or they went back and watched the VOD later. So I'm not totally certain at the end of the day if bifurcating the YouTube audience is a good or a bad thing. I am going to keep doing it for Factorio for now, but that remains a question that I still haven't quite figured out the answer to. Because I think it ends up being a larger audience total. And I think a lot of the people that are going to watch the recorded sections will continue to watch the recorded sections. I think we're getting new viewers that enjoy the live aspect. So I think overall it's more total, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments about those things. I'm, I'm always interested to talk about it. So now we're going to talk about the exciting thing, Factorio Early Media Access. I am blessed to have the Early Media Access uh, key. So that begins on October 14th where the media embargo stops, meaning all of your favorite content creators, pretty much, I, I not literally every single creator, I don't know how they've decided who does and doesn't get them, that's beyond my pay grade. All I know is that I have it and many other creators have it, and so you will start to see tons of factorial content on October 14th. We're even allowed to pre-record stuff that then we make available on the 14th. So there will be some creators that are gonna have, you know, entire playthroughs that start going up on the 14th, and you're gonna see all sorts of stuff. I am wanting to maintain my fresh reaction, so I'm not going to pre-record stuff and play the game now. So for the next two weeks, roughly, I'm gonna be sitting here with Factorio Space Age and not playing it. I know, I know, it's amazing. Superhuman self-control. Uh, and the reason is because I want to play on stream and be able to talk about all the new little things I'm seeing and be able to enjoy those together with you guys while I'm streaming it and kind of recording that process. I think that's a really fun part about Let's Plays is the initial reactions to things. And if I were to play 40 or 50 hours of Space Age to get content prepared, there would be so much of it that would lose its newness by the time you guys are seeing me play it. And I want to do a live Let's Play. I don't want to do a pre-recorded Let's Play. And because of that, I'm just going to wait to play. I've, I've only played about an hour total. 
Uh, there were there were even a couple exciting things that happened in the literally the first five minutes of gameplay. And I was like, oh, man, I don't get to, like, share my excitement about this with my viewers yet. So I am really excited for October 14th. Uh, and yeah, so you can see my fresh reactions. The plan uh, uh, logistically is on the 14th at noon UTC. We will start a default settings factorial run. I'm not changing a single setting. I may re-roll a seed or two to get a start that looks kind of nice because I like grass rather than the desert or whatever. But other than that, we're just going to be doing a default factorial run. And the plan is to take that run all the way to the end game. We are going to win. And ideally, we're going to go past that. My The goal in the back of my head is an all legendary base. I don't know quite yet how monumental of a task that is, so we may or may not get there, but that's kind of the loose plan is to beat the game and then see kind of how much further we can take it to get legendary quality of everything. So that's the plan. I am going to do two 12 hour streams, which is known as a 24 hour stream for old people. Uh, I am not a young man anymore and I don't think my body could handle uh an all-nighter while i'm streaming the entire time not to mention that youtube can't handle a 24-hour stream so i'd have to break it into two streams anyway for the vod to appear properly so i figure what we'll do is we'll do a 20 a 12-hour stream when it releases and then i will basically stop at 12 hours i'll go to bed get some sleep and then i'll come back and we'll do another 12 hours so it's going to be a 24-hour stream for old people as soon as as soon as i can and that'll get us a good chunk of the way into the game right out of the gate. And then from there, we'll kind of continue what I consider to be normal streams. Um, I will be streaming more than my stream schedule, which is currently about 14 hours a week. I will be streaming more than that for Space Age, for sure. I will be making sure to at least stick to my stream schedule, which is Mondays, um, one, and I'm, these are US Eastern times, by the way. So Monday, it's one to five, and then Tuesday and Thursday, it's 11 to four. So those are the, those are the stream schedule hours that I certainly will do, but I'll do more than that because I'm super excited for Space Age and it's all I'm gonna wanna do for a while. And yeah, that's all I have for today. I am super excited about Space Age coming down, down the pipe here in only 12 days from when I'm recording this, which is so fun. I'm excited to have you guys there. Please uh, pick your favorite platform. Twitch is nice. I feel like the, the viewer engagement is a little better on Twitch with the channel points and stuff. So I personally encourage you to head over to Twitch and watch there. But if you prefer the YouTube live, that's totally fine too. I will be multi-streaming and we'll be recording those episodes in 40 to 60 minute segments as we did with Satisfactory to produce videos. So until then, uh, I'll be kind of streaming some random things. I may do some Factorio Death World, I'm not sure. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.